Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So I have a couple packages. Uh, first, I'm gonna open this random one. It says fragile, <clears throat> handle with care. Um, it's from somebody named Joseph, and it weighs nothing. So I'm trying to figure out what it is. I don't know. Um, could just be somebody sending me stickers. Uh, could be anything, honestly. Unboxing knife, my Medford Slim Mini. This has not left my pocket in over a week now. Uh, that was the last knife I bought. <clears throat> Hopefully today I'll be buying a Pena Mula X-Series. He has a new one coming out with inlays and a uh, front flipper, so I'm excited for that. First knife I've really been interested in in a while. Um, I, I don't know what the hell this is, so bear with me here, guys. This could be something stupid. It's an octopus that is flipping the bird. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck that is. Um, that is it. That's the only thing in there. I am so confused right now. Joseph, I don't want to say your last name because <clears throat> I don't know. But um, Joseph sent me. I think I saw this on OCD for EDC's channel, if I'm not mistaken. I don't watch their lives all the time. I try to catch them, but I think I saw this there somewhere. Um, and the octopus is flipping the bird with five hands. And the other three are just sitting there. Um, looks like it's 3D printed. So, I, yeah, I have no fucking clue what this is. Uh, <clears throat> I have a feeling <clears throat> that uh, David uh, Eggs and Ham 22 is involved in this somehow. <laughs> I don't know why anybody would spend money to send me an octopus flipping the bird. <laughs> there must be a joke I'm missing, so I will find out. <clears throat> and uh, maybe you'll see this again, but there you go, guys. Uh, that's a very interesting package to receive. Jesus Christ. Um, then this right here is from my good buddy Joe. The Knife Whisperer. The Knife Licker. A.K.A. Joe. And um, Joe and I have been obsessed with the J-Cape as of late. And obviously the J-Cape is a knife by something obscene company. Um right there and we actually made a trade so ever since i got <clears throat> my plane or my flame titanium dlc one flipper from germany i bought it off battlemerchant.com we have been contemplating trading he has the satin version with flame tie which is the one i really wanted um and he didn't really care either way but he really fell in love with the satin and he spent a lot of money on it so he was really hesitant to um, trade it. But then I got the ProTech Malibu and Titanium that he wanted. And uh, that was able to shake it loose. So uh, he, I gave him a deal on the Pro, not a deal. I sold him the ProTech Malibu at what I paid. I paid three fifty dollars for it from a good buddy who won it in a raffle. Shout out to Sharp underscore Marbles on Instagram. And it wasn't for me. I prefer the aluminum. Uh, so I sold it to Joe for 360, just covers some shipping costs. Um, and then we traded J Capes. Um, so that was the deal. I now have the flame titanium and satin version. We also have Joe's stickers here, the knife whisperer. Love these stickers, uh, designed and actually I think bought by, uh, why do I always want to say, da is it Jason or David? I think he has, he has three names. Uh, it's like Jason David Keith. <laughs> um, from Nebucloud, of course. Uh, he's also a friend in the community. Um, and a really cool dude. He's helped me with my intro. And, yeah, I'm just not sure which name he prefers. Or if I'm just forgetting something. But I'm pretty sure he goes by Jason and David. But, anyway. Um... 
this is my new JK. <clears throat> he did tell me that uh, there's a little scratch on the clip, but we shall see how she is. Um, oh. <sighs> breathe, Kev. Fucking breathe, boy. Oh, yeah, there is a mark up top on the clip. So here she is. Holy shit. And guys, I'm in the shade because I, I don't want to get sun crushed out here. I'm running some errands. My dad asked for firewood for his birthday. His birthday is Monday. We're doing dinner today, and he wanted firewood. So I'm stopping to get some, <clears throat> some uh, whiskey for him, scotch for him, of course, and then I'll, I'll get the firewood. Um, but I'm not just going to get him firewood. Um, look at that clip with the bronze or gold, actually, uh, accents on it. It does have that scratch up by the screws there, but I could give two shits about that. Backspacer is also that uh, gold color. Uh, we are dead centered. Yep, dead centered. So the action on this one, oh my God. Yeah, I mean, if I apply a little bit of KPL, I mean, I could obviously take it apart, swap the bearings and it'll fall shut for sure. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but oh my God, it's like a controlled shut. Uh, it's already coming back to life. It was just in that package. Uh, so I think a little KPL will knock this one out of the park. That fucking ting sound. So I do have to say, and Joe's going to hate me for this, uh, this sounds better than the DLC one. The DLC one does the ting sound. You hear that? It does it, but not every time. And listen to this detail when it sucks it in. So I think the detent on this one, yeah, the first one I had in carbon fiber, the detent was just a little too strong and my finger would slip off occasionally and then the one the dlc one i have flame titanium is really good this is just a hair stronger than that one um so this is like the perfect detent on this knife um oh my god yes the satin grind on here oh i'm so glad i got this knife joe i love you so much dude um, I really hope you enjoy the um, the DLC one because it's a really good knife. And it's definitely more of a, a, a knife you'd want to carry and stuff. This one's kind of flashy and has the gold. Um, so it, it, it goes both ways. I love both of them. But I really did want this satin blade. Uh, just look at those Riot grind lines. The DLC one has a sick compound grind as well. Um, and looks fantastic, but, oh, God. But the action, I will say, the closing action on that DLC one was better. Uh, that one just dropped shut. Um, but we'll see if I can get this one. Obviously, I'm staying without touching it. Maybe I can get this to drop shut with some KLP. KLP. KPL. Tell how excited I am. Uh, KPL. Um, but if not, I'll take it apart and do my thing. Oh my God. Listen to that ting every time. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. This is going right into my back pocket today. So excited. Um, yes. All right, guys, I actually do have one more knife to unbox. Um, so one issue with this knife is the clip sometimes doesn't want to go in your pocket all the way because of the lightning strike thing, right? So let me put all this in the box because I need that COA card. I want to make sure I don't lose that. All right, the last package here is from a new buddy in the community. Uh, he's been around a while. Uh, his channel is Geared Toward Gear. His name is Sean. Uh, really cool dude. Um, I kind of met him through Jake Bearded Gear because um, they did a podcast together. And then on Facebook, he joined our uh, 
or he's part of our Shadow Ranger group. And um, he's just a really cool dude, and I've gotten to know him a little bit. We have a group chat now um, with Jake and Kyle and him, and it's a lot of fun. And he's just a very like-minded guy. He's not taking things too serious. Um, and he's a really good, like, knife dude and a good dude in general. So, anyway, I was trying to hunt down a CKF Chimera because I keep hearing how amazing this knife is from people. Um, hold on. And I just don't think it's good because <laughs> it's thumb stud only. It's a little goofy looking. Um, so I really wanted to get one in without having to spend, you know, $500. And he has one and he was willing to send it to me. So I really appreciate that, Sean. Um, just really cool of you to do that. Um, so I don't know what's going on here. I have this package and this package. Looks like he has his own like envelopes. That's really cool. I dropped the uh, tab there. So let's cut into this guy. I'm guessing, I'm hoping, I guess, maybe it's like some stickers or something. yeah check it out guys gear tour gear stickers i love that it's in a gear shape that's such genius um yeah it's just really cool um cool logo with that swiss army knife and he doesn't put up as many videos anymore as he used to he kind of stepped back a little bit because it, it's a lot of work guys uh, you know i started to feel a little burnt out last week and I kind of refreshed. Like, I took a weekend off of filming and stuff. I've slowed down. Like, you'll notice that I just put all these in one unboxing instead of doing one for each knife. Um, now, there, you know, obviously I've had a J-Cape before. And I'm not going to just unbox an octopus. But, like, it's a lot of work editing every video. And it's time consuming. Takes away from your family. And anyway... So he took a little step back, but hopefully he'll be back in the game soon because he has some really, really good content. Um, the stuff I have seen from him uh, is really, really good. So I uh, really appreciate this, Sean. Uh, let me get into Zanaf. Put away the Slimity. I love this knife, guys. Um, yeah, it's just become... One of my favorite knives in my collection. I have two of them. Like, I don't know. You guys know me. If I like something, I usually get multiples. At least for a little while, right? Grab some iced tea. Sorry, I got some allergies. It's springtime. CKF pouch. It's cool. And you get your usual, guys. You get your cards. You get your, you know, your magnet, you get your stickers. Chimera Knife uh, Designer, Danila Marachek M390, Titanium CF Zerk, Zerkutai, number 55, made on 321. So, it's funny, when I saw this, they posted some on, from Russia with knives, that's where CKF sells their stuff mainly, and they list it as cool carbon fiber. <laughs> which I think is hilarious. Uh, extra hardware, of course. I love that they do that. And the knife. So, it's a bigger knife. Let me just put this down. Okay. Okay. So here it is. There's the cool carbon fiber right there. It's like this shred type. Um, kind of reminds me of my Evo 2.0, of course. And then on this side, they did the bark pattern dark wash titanium so very reminiscent of my evo 2.0 this would be a good complement knife to that seems like but it has this uh zirkutai i guess clip is that what that is or is that uh timascus clip maybe and then zirconium backspace so you can definitely see that um and i think zirconium thumb studs as well so i like i like that ckf uses zirconium because it's like a fancy material but i also hate it 
Sorry. I also hate it because it's heavy as fuck. I'd much rather just have dark wash titanium than zirconium. It weighs this knife down. This could be a much lighter knife, but they had to go add this heavy ass backspacer. And some people will like that. I do not. M390, number 55. And I've just heard that this knife is so amazing. Classic fucking uh, custom knife factory shitty detent. So here we go. Let's watch this. Of course it does that. Of course it does that, but... I fucking hate their detents. My God. They, they sacrifice detent for this. Which I love that they drop shit like this, but... They 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 decrease lock bar pressure to get that action. That is my that is what I think. I don't know that for sure, but it just makes sense to me that that's what they do. Um, and I don't appreciate that. I want a stronger detent, and and give me a controlled close. Then it doesn't need to drop like a guillotine um, because it does this. Like it's a little floppy McFlopperson. Like yeah, I could shoot it out, but like knowing that. Knowing that if I don't give it enough gas, this is going to happen. And maybe my finger ends up in here. Um, sucks. So, i that's what I was worried about. That's why I didn't buy one. Other than the fact that it's also kind of ugly looking. And I'm very, very glad that Sean sent me this. Because now I don't need to spend $500. Now, I will say, ergonomically, it's very comfortable. This grip is very comfortable. The size of the knife is really nice. The uh, belt satin on here is very well done. Uh, really good grind on there. Um, it has a, a thin edge. You can tell it's thin behind the edge. It's another kind of 523 style knife that kind of reminds me of a folding kitchen knife, sort of. Um, that detent blows, though. Um, it's so funny so funny i love that bark pattern love that clip i love how it's uh muted so it does have the color to it but it's like muted so it's really nice it's dark it's not flashing the timascus in your face um they actually used a um oh no they do that they use a uh like you know show side pivot and then a pivot on and then tooling on this side but yet it'll be a spinning pivot like it's stupid i'm guessing this is the same it looks like a t8 maybe um oh and, uh, and honestly almost looks like a t6 on the pivot and then t8s on the hardware i don't know why they would do that i doubt it um yeah that's weird if that that's the case um actually we can find out right don't worry, Sean. I'm not going to actually uh, adjust it. I'm just going to, like she said, I'm just going to stick a tip in. Nope, it is a T8. Okay, good to know. Um, but it's weird that the tooling seems, um, the tooling on the pivot seems shallow compared to, you know, all the other hardware on here. You'll see how the tooling looks deep like you could get in there very well um yeah interesting knife uh of course that closing action is where it's at and that's why everybody drools over this knife um but i'm all about that detent and um this detent blows so uh this is the ckf chimera i will probably do a full review on it i don't know if i'll do a first impressions i've kind of done that right here um, really interesting looking knife with great closing action and uh, shitty detent. So thank you, Sean, geared towards gear, uh, for being a good knife bra and uh, sending this my way. I will get it reviewed and get your baby back to you. I know you love this thing like many other people do. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it. That's the uh, CKF Chimera, the... Um, something obscene company uh, j cape and the don't know 
flipping the bird octopus. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. I love you so much. And I will catch you later.